Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at the filter function and how you can create a dynamic filter function. So first of all, the basic filter function, which I've got set up here, is looking at, for example, this cell, this yellow cell, and when I type any criteria in that yellow cell, it will change to reflect that criteria. So if I type AO, it will show me people that are AOs from this list. And you can see the, the filter function at the top there. It's looking at this table and it's looking at the grade column. And if the grade column equals K1, which is the yellow cell, it will do the filter, which is how the filter function works. And that's great. But if you wanted to have it dynamic, what you can do is use this sort of feature. So I've still got a yellow cell where I'm going to put the criteria in. If I delete that, um, it shows everything. Now, I want this to filter on the countries. So if I type the letter A and press enter, it comes up with everything with an A in it. If I type AF and press enter, I'll just get Africa. So that filter is this is the formula that's bringing that up there. So I've got filter A2 to A8. This is A2 to A8, uh, to B8, sorry, that's a whole table. And then is number, because what this search function brings back, it will bring back a value if it doesn't find it, and a number if it does find it, a position where it is in the, in the list. So we don't want anything other than numbers. So that's what the is number function does. And the not found is if it does come back with a value, it's going to say not found. So if I put X in there, for example, it comes back with not found. So let's just type that formula in there first of all. So we're going equals filter, open the bracket on there. Then we're selecting A2 to B8, comma. Then we put in is number, we want it just to be a number because the search function will bring back a value if it doesn't find uh, a value, a number. Then we're looking for search, so search. Search will find a text in a list. So we're looking for what's in F1 and we are going to search in column B, the country column, B2 to B9 comma, bracket should I say, and we need to close it, that's a search bracket, we need to close the is number bracket, and then comma, so this is now going to be not found if it's an error, and you need to put that in quotes, you don't have to put this not found on, it's totally up to you, close that bracket, if it's empty, not found. Yes. Okay, so that's that one. Now, if I put that back to A, it will find all the A's, and then I have to type A, F, or if I type F for France, and if I type F, R, it comes up with Africa still. So there is the problem with that. Now let's have a look at this option down here. So we've got the filter with the left function and the length function. So let's have a quick look at what the left function will do. Equals left, open bracket, select the text that you want. So that's the text. Just comes up with the leftmost character of that list. Now the length function equals len, open bracket is looking at this blank cell. So this will come back with zero at the moment because there's no characters in there. But if I type a S, it comes back with two. There are two characters in there. Delete that off. Delete the len off. And delete the left off. So that's what's happening with those two functions. So if I delete this one and type this function here, this list. So equals filter. That's the starting point. We're going A2 to B8, comma. Then we're doing left, 
B2 to be B9. It is not, it is an extra line there. Comma, and then we want the length function for where we're going to put our criteria, F13, comma. Then we need to close the left bracket as well, close, and then equals F13. If it's, that's it. We haven't got any empty. I didn't close the bracket on the end there, look, so I'll just say yes to that. And now it just comes in, and if I type in A, comes in with all the A's, if I type in AS, Asia, and so on. So I'm still having to press enter on that. It's not quite dynamic. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of that for a minute. I'm going to draw or insert from the developer tab an ActiveX text control, which I can use as a search. We'll just draw it here, actually. Now, when you go into properties on this, you can create a linked cell, which I'm going to create as F13. Then get rid of properties. Click design off. So what should happen now is, because I've linked these two cells together, if I type F, it immediately does it. So you can see that um, A, S, assuming whatever I type, it's now going to U, K, it's going to do it. So this is quite a nifty little tool. You're not having to press enter each time for that. So I could have put this one on there as well. It would have done exactly the same. But um, if I type G, there's only one G, Germany. So that's basically how you can create a dynamic filter using these functions. Filter, left, len, and then put in this ActiveX text box in so it is dynamic, like so. So that's all I want to talk about in this particular video. So hopefully that has been of use to you, and I'll see you on the next one.